Hey, I'm Alex, and my co-founder Zach and I are building Deft, Amazon 2.0, where you can type like you speak, search by image across all product sites. The product search is painful. I tried searching for a gray couch with wood trim on the bottom in a mid-century style for under $600, and it took me 30 hours to find it, scrolling through hundreds of pages of irrelevant results. Here's what happens when you search that on Amazon, gray couch with wood trim on the bottom. The first result is wood polish. You have this bathroom surfaces, scrubber, uh, cat scratching toys, ads, and so much clutter, I don't even know where to look. Here's our product, searching the same thing, gray couch with wood trim on the bottom, that fits at least three people. So even just adding something extra. As you can see, the results are highly uh, relevant uh, from all over the internet, article, all modern, and so on. You can also search by image. You can link one, you can upload one, and you can also refine that search with text. You can say something like, like this, but in blue. And as you can see, highly relevant results come back. For the past eight weeks, we've gotten an average of 45% growth in organic signups per week. And we also onboarded several beta users. As for a go-to-market strategy, we are leveraging SEO and community engagement on the part of our users to drive traffic. And as for revenue, we are having users make insight purchases and getting affiliate revenue. Um, we are focusing on a single vertical furniture rather than others. Um, our, next to re our, our next milestone is to get 40,000 in net revenue per month, get in 5,000 monthly active users, each spending 100 a month, making those insight purchases and getting 8% affiliate revenue. We're third time founders. I have seven years startup engineering experience. My co-founder has seven years e-commerce technology and management experience. And so we're a good fit for the problem. Uh, to reach our next milestone, we project we'll need 600,000 in investment. This covers our living expenses for a year, two employees and tech costs, and brings us to that 490,000 in net revenue per year. Thanks. Uh, your presentation was good and clear. Your idea seems to me one of the best I've heard in say my last year of having heard ideas, uh, which is great. But as I'm hearing this, my big worry is, I, I wonder, gee, maybe these guys have just mastered the gray sofa trick. <laughs> and how good your search is for a wide variety of queries. You need to signal that you have studied that clearly and how far along you are. Because if all you can do is the gray sofa trick, the rest might be uncrackable. Maybe you wrote the whole thing just to do the gray sofa trick. So I want to know that right up front. And if you're not that far along, that might be fine. But it's a very different business plan than if you could put in, you know, a pink Mercedes Benz or something. I don't think you should say it takes you 30 hours without your product. It seems exaggerated. It feels to me I could make a phone call to someone and find out in 20 minutes. Now, 20 minutes is an eternity in internet time. And I think that would still be enough for you to succeed. But 30 hours seems like an exaggeration. Uh, I also would discuss how do you make sure people are, stay buying it on your platform and that you get the affiliate fees. So a possible response to this is I use you for search. And then once I sort of find what it really is or where it is, then I use Google and I end up buying it through Google or Amazon. And maybe that won't happen. Uh, but if you could think through and present why your site is sticky, because I think as you know, even from Bing, the most common query is how to get to Google. So what makes you sticky? What other features of your site uh, will have it work in that way? And uh, I would just ask, how far along are you? Or is it just the gray uh, sofa trick? <laughs> yeah, good question. So um, we have built out our image search, uh, basically just as you see it. Um, and so that part's working really well. We have built out enough of our text search that it gives value to users. Um, however, we are still working on it uh, you know, to, to generalize um, in the sort of way you're describing. Uh, and so we have a roadmap for that. We have a clear path to continue to provide more and more value. We're not trying to solve- That's all not specific. Like I wanna hear the specific. We have a roadmap, there's a clear path. That, that makes me nervous if I'm investing in this. Okay. Like what percentage of queries within the furniture space give you something meaningful? 40%, 89%, 2%? Yeah, I mean, it's it's on the lower side right now. I would say, you know, it's it's about 20% uh, or so, um, which is, I would say, better than Amazon in some circumstances. Sure, but uh, what do you need to get that up to 88%? Do you need talent? Do you need money? Do you need to solve an algorithmic problem? What's the actual scarce input in your venture? 
Yeah, the scarce input is um, we, we are exploring machine learning models, uh, especially hybrid ones, uh, as proposed by Gary Marcus. Um, we are also uh, we're going to need talent to uh, continue to build it out. I can do it myself. I've I've done this sort of thing before, um, and I you know have built it up to this point. Uh, however, you know more hands make lighter work. Um, so yeah, that, that's why we're mentioning that we need some employees for this. On that, I think you still need to just make it sound better and you sound more in command and answer always in terms of details and specifics. Now, in terms okay. of stickiness, why are you gonna get those affiliate fees rather than you're just a first stop on the way to Amazon or Google? Um, currently we are doing things that don't scale, which is that we are clicking through and getting the affiliate links once someone uh, buys something on our site. Um, we realize that's not scalable. And so the next stop on our trip is gonna be drop shipping. Um, hopefully we won't stay in the affiliate area for, for that long, or, uh, you know, we'll stay there for as long as we need to, but not, not beyond that. Um, and dropshipping has much better margins. And obviously, you, you know, we don't have to rely on click throughs and it, you know, like, just like you were saying, it's a little bit tricky to make sure that we capture that, uh, revenue. Um, so yeah, go ahead. Yeah, I would just say that, that answer, I wouldn't quite say it's too long, but you need to lead with the actual answer to the question and then flesh out the details. Cause when you're saying part of that. I don't quite see where it's going and I'm not sure which parts of it I should be evaluating how. So be more direct in starting with where you want me to end up and then I'll hear the story and be able to make sense of it. Drop shipping. That's the answer. We're moving to that. Okay. Something like that. Mm -hmm. And not, not everyone even knows what drop shipping is. I don't, for instance, Okay. So just like clarity and specificity throughout. And is there a way you could imagine this being somehow connected to Google and Amazon? Like maybe you're the first stop, but you get something from them, even if they buy it from Amazon. Uh, yeah, you were gonna say something, Zach? No, I think, I, I mean, that's the affiliate revenue model that we're gonna be sticking to. We've also been toying around with uh, a payment gateway on the platform as well to keep them on the platform. A lot of users leave because they can't finish their transaction on the site itself. Uh, so we've been, we've been uh, testing that out with some users right now and we're getting some really good feedback. And the affiliate thing, do you need a sales force that goes around to my crummy little local sofa store and like enlist them in your company? Or is it somehow automatic or you're just gonna have so many people on your site, my crummy little sofa shop is gonna to come to you? What's the model there in terms of sales? Most of the bigger players right now already have an affiliate program that's set up, but yeah, for some of the smaller ones that we'd wanna onboard, uh, we would have to go after those. But even the big ones, why should they come to you? Is it that your users will drive them to you or some other plan? I suppose my question is, well, I, I'm not quite getting what you're asking. Are, are you asking how are we getting traffic to our site? How are you getting suppliers to be interested in dealing with you? Okay. Um, as for the affiliate part, uh, we're just simply scraping a bunch of products and the users that are on our site are finding them. As for, you know, how are we connecting with suppliers? That's more of the drop shipping, i.e., they take care of the fulfillment um, while a user just says, hey, I want this thing. Uh, and behind the scenes, you know, there, there's, I guess, to answer your question more directly, there are certain platforms that let you connect with a bunch of different suppliers. Um, so we don't have to establish those relationships ourselves. It's just kind of done as a service. And the benefit to them is they're going to just get more revenue. Um, it's more searches that we're, we're pushing to them. All that should be clearer and just your sense. Is that something that will happen automatically or is that a problem you need to solve? I mean, a, a backer will want to see that you understand that. And that's not evident. Uh, anyway, they tell me I'm out of time on this one and in general, but I uh, thank you all and best of luck with this. Thanks. Thank Bye. you very much. Appreciate your feedback.